The Big Mitten, rewritten by Madge Toby, illustrated by Rodney Bills. Mitya lives way up north near a big forest where it gets very cold. One day, Babushka knitted some woolly new mittens to keep Mitya's hands warm. They were beautiful, red and white and soft. Mitya wore his new mittens into the forest as he looked for firewood. When he stopped to tie his boot, he forgot one mitten and left it under a tree. Uh-oh, let's see what happens to the mitten. Soon, Mouse came by, shivering, shaking with cold. What's this? He sniffed the mitten. <laughs> Something warm just for me? Mouse crawled inside. He wiggled and snuggled and made himself cozy and warm. Soon, Rabbit came by, shivering and shaking with the cold. What's this? He sniffed the mitten. <sniffs> Something warm just for me. No, just for me, said Mouse. That's not very nice, is it? Please let me in too, begged Rabbit. Mouse looked at Rabbit's big feet. He sighed and reluctantly moved over. Rabbit crawled inside. Mouse and Rabbit wiggled and snuggled and made themselves cozy and warm. Soon, Hedgehog came by, shivering and shaking with the cold. What's this? He sniffed the mitten. Something warm just for me. No, just for us, said Mouse and Rabbit. Please let me in too, begged Hedgehog. Are they going to let him in? Mouse and Rabbit looked at hedgehog, Hedgehog's prickles. They sighed and reluctantly moved over. Hedgehog crawled inside. Mouse, Rabbit, and Hedgehog wiggled and snuggled and made themselves cozy and warm. Soon, Fox! came by shivering and shaking with the cold. What's this? He sniffed the mitten. Something warm just for me. Is it just for him? What do you think? No, just for us, said Mouse, Rabbit, and Hedgehog. Please let me in too, begged Fox. Mouse, Rabbit, and Hedgehog looked at Fox's bushy tail. They sighed and reluctantly moved over. Fox crawled inside. Mouse, rabbit, hedgehog, and fox wiggled and snuggled and made themselves warm. Soon, Bear came by, shivering and shaking with the cold. What's this? He sniffed the mitten. Something warm just for me. No, just for us, said Mouse, Rabbit, Hedgehog, and Fox. Move over, growled Bear. Mouse, Rabbit, Hedgehog, 
and fox looked at Bear's sharp claws. They sighed and reluctantly moved over. Bear crawled inside. Mouse, rabbit, hedgehog, fox, and bear wiggled and snuggled and made themselves cozy and warm. Bear rolled over and poked fox with one sharp claw. Fox rolled over and brushed hedgehog with his bushy tail. Hedgehog rolled over and scratched rabbit with his prickles. Rabbit rolled over and bumped mouse with his big feet. Mouse rolled over and tickled bear's nose with his long whiskers and... <gasps> What's gonna happen? <gasps> huh? I think this is a funny story and we usually use it to learn about sequencing stories but since it's about winter and we're not actually coming to class right now I thought it would be a fun story to read to you during this time I hope you enjoyed it